Hello, welcome to Rinsing Academy. We are discussing uh, matrices and determinants and this is the video lecture number 14. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 13 before watching this part 14. Uh, we are discussing here some problems related to determinants and matrices uh, from miscellaneous exercise on exercise 4. So let us discuss those problems where we left in the last session. So here is a question number. Let me discuss question number 7 is there. We have till, uh, till question number 6. Question number 7 is there. And what is that? That question is minus 3, 3 minus 15 and 5. That is 3. <coughs> minus 15, 5. Minus 1, 6, minus 2. And then 1 minus 5. Two. This one, if A inverse is this one, if A inverse is this one, question number 7 is there, uh, let me correct it. Question number 7 is there and it is given if A inverse is like this, and b is equal to b is given like 1 minus 1 and 0 1 minus 1 and 0 and then 2 3 minus 2 it is given that 2 3 minus 2 and minus 2 0 1 minus 2 0 1 and that is another matrix b we have to find find a b inverse so for solution we should write here that uh, for solution we know <coughs> a b inverse is equal to a b inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse so a inverse is already given here now if we will find b inverse then we can find a b inverse so to find b inverse first you have to go with the determinant of b so now determinant of b is equal to this is first so determinant of b is equal to 1 into this cancel this cancel 3 minus 0 that is 3 and plus 1 into this cancel this cancel so 2 plus 4 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 so 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0 and therefore B is non-singular matrix. B is non-singular matrix and hence B inverse exists. B inverse exists because it is a non-singular matrix. Right now. So what will happen? Now we can calculate adjoint of B. So adjoint of B to write those adjoint terms. I can write adjoint of B directly using cofactors of first row and first column so first row cofactors to be right in first column this cancel this cancel 3 so i'll write here 3 now this cancel and this cancel that will be minus 1 so minus 1 and sign of that will change so it will be 1 now this cancel this cancel so 2 minus 0 that is 2 so i'll write 2 here this cancel and this cancel so 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 but sign will change so it will be 2 now second row second column then 1 minus 0 that is 1 and second row third column that will be cancelled so minus 2 and 0 but sign will change so that will be minus 2 2 now third row first column so this one and this one cancel 0 minus minus 6 that is plus 6 okay now third row second column so that would be 0 minus 2 0 minus 2 is minus 2 but sign will change so it will be plus 2 and now third row third column so that would be 3 plus 2 that is 5 so this is adjoint of b and therefore a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of a into adjoint of a so 1 upon a into adjoint of a is 3 1 2 2, 6, 1, 2 and 2, 5 that will be A inverse so from first <coughs> and therefore from first we can write here from first 
a b inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse and b inverse is calculated here what 3 to 6 3 to 6 1 1 2 1 1 2 and 2 2 5 2 2 5 so that is b inverse and now a inverse is already given and what is that given that is given like 3 minus 1 1 3 minus 1 1 that is 3 minus 1 1 and uh, minus 15 6 minus 5 minus 15 6 minus 5 and that is 5 minus 2 2 5 minus 2 2 so that will be the another matrix now we can multiply this and we will get this so if we multiply them what will happen 3 to just 6 6 minus 30 plus 30 and that will be minus 3 and 6 to the 12 and 6 to the 12 minus 12 so there will be 12 minus 12 so that will be 12 and minus 12 now third 3 into 1 is 3 and 2 into 5 is minus 10 and 6 into 2 is 12 so plus 12 now second row first column that is 3 and minus 15 and 2 5 chat 10 now that is minus 1 plus 6 minus 4 then this will be 1 and minus 5 and plus 4 that will be 2 into 3 6 and uh, then what will happen 2 into 3 6 and uh, 2 into 5 is minus 30 and 5 into 5 is 25 now that will be minus 2 and that will be 6 to your 12 and that will be minus 10 so here again it will be 2 minus 10 and plus 10 so finally the things will come like here 30 30 cancel so 6 and 12 12 cancel so minus 3 and here 12 plus 3 15 minus 10 is 5 and this one is 3 plus 10 13 minus 15 is minus 2 and 6 minus 5 is 1 and 4 plus 1 5 minus 5 is 0 and this will be 6 plus 25 30 minus 30 is 0 and 12 minus 12 is 0 and this will be 2 only because 10 10 cancel so that will be um, <coughs> in inverse and that will be the answer of this question so i hope you got it okay next question is there question number eight and question number eight is there what is question number eight let me write let a is equal to it is given that one two one two three one 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 five and now verify that verify that what to verify adjoint of a inverse is equal to adjoint of a inverse is equal to adjoint of a inverse this is what we have to prove and the second part is this is the first and second one is given that uh, a minus a a inverse minus 1 is equal to a inverse pole inverse is equal to a that you need to prove okay so first of all uh, because to prove the first one uh, we need to calculate adjoint of a first so let me write adjoint of a adjoint of a is what adjoint of a first row first column this is 15 minus 1 that is 14 and this cancel this cancel 5 to your 10 minus 1 9 but sign will change to minus 9 right now and this will be cancelled this will be 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 now second row first column 10 minus 1 is 9 but sign will change so that will be minus 9 second row second column so to solve this question uh, this question is uh, age given but uh, we have to verify this one so there are two ways to do this 
uh, first you will find a joint of A and then thereafter whatever the matrix will come, you find the inverse of that matrix. Also, you can find inverse of, so let us solve this question. First of all, I am going to find out the determinant of A and what is that? 1 into this cancel and this cancel 15 minus 1 that is 14 minus 2 times of this into this that is 5 to 10 minus 1 is 9 and 1 into this cancel this cancel 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 so 14 minus 19 is minus 5 that is determinant of a now uh, we know that solution we know that uh, a joint of a inverse is equal to what? Since a inverse is equal to a inverse is defined as 1 upon determinant of a into a joint of a. Similarly, a joint of a inverse is equal to what? 1 upon determinant of a joint of a into a joint of at joint of A, isn't it? But we know there are some properties that if A be any matrix of order N, then here I am writing, just note down this. If A be any matrix of order N, if A be any matrix of order N, then if A be any matrix any square matrix of order n order n into n then adjoint of a determinant of adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a to the power n minus 1 and <coughs> also the adjoint of adjoint of a is equal to what happened? Determinant of a to the power n minus 2 into a. These are the two properties which will be used here. Right? So we would use this. 1 upon determinant of a is equal to 1 upon adjoint determinant of a to the power 2 because determinant is of matrix is of order 3. So 3 minus 1 that is 2 and adjoint of adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a to the power 3 minus 2 that is 1 into a. So this determinant and this determinant cancels out because this is a scalar quantity. So 1 upon determinant of a into matrix a. Therefore finally it will come 1 upon minus 5 into matrix a and matrix a was nothing else but uh, 1 2 1 2 3 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 that is 1 2 1 2 3 1 and uh, 1 1 5 1 1 5 that is what 1 1 5 so it will come like this so here hello this is equation first so that has come up what an adjoint of A inverse. So adjoint of A inverse is adjoint of A inverse is this. This is LHS and LHS is this. Now we have to find RHS. RHS is A inverse and adjoint of A inverse. So A inverse is equal to first let me calculate 1 upon determinant of A into adjoint of A and uh, we have to find adjoint of a inverse so first i can write here 1 by 5 and adjoint of a will come like what will be the value of adjoint of a first row will be this cancel this means 15 minus 1 is 14 and second row this will come to 50 10 minus 1 9 so minus 9 so 15 14 and minus 9 and this minus 1 this is minus 1 14 minus 9 and minus 1 that will be 14 minus 9 and minus 1 14 minus 9 minus 1 mistake 
14 minus 9 minus 1 and then the second row what will happen this will cancel and this will cancel so that will be 10 minus 1 that is 9 but it will be minus 9 this cancel this cancel so what will happen if this cancel this cancel then this will 5 minus 1 4 so minus 9 and 4 minus 9 and 4 and then this cancel this cancel what will happen 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 but sign will change so it will be 1 so that will be 1 and uh, now third row this cancel this cancel 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 so it will be minus 1 again here and uh, next will be this cancel this cancel 1 minus 2 minus 1 so if sign will change it will be 1 and uh, there will be 3 minus 4 that is minus 1 so 1 and minus 1 are two other terms 1 and minus 1 are the other two terms so that is basically a inverse now we have to find the joint of this a inverse so what will happen that can be written as that can be written as minus 14 by 5 9 by 5 just multiply by minus 5 i have written this you know this will be those which, which are negative they will be positive and those which are negative uh, positive that will be negative so i think you got it now we have to find a joint of a inverse so a joint of a inverse is what a joint of a inverse this is what a inverse has been calculated hmm? now we have to write a joint of this a inverse because this was a inverse we have to write a joint of this so a joint of this will be first row to be right in first column so this will be um, cofactors of first row to be right in first column this cancel this cancel that is minus 4 by 25 will be in denominator definitely every time so don't worry about that you can cancel this minus 4 minus 1 that is minus 5 minus 5 by 25 minus 5 by 25 let me write like this and then what will happen second row this cancel this cancel so what will happen 9 by 25 and plus 1 by 25 that is 10 by 25 but it will be negative so that is why minus 10 by 25 again if i can write here that uh, this one cancel and this one cancel then what will happen this is minus 9 by 25 and minus 4 by 25 that is uh, minus 9 and minus uh, plus 4 that is 5 by 25 so 5 by 25 is there now second row first column so what will happen 9 by 25 and plus 1 by 25 that is 10 by 25 but because sign is changed so minus 10 by 25 this cancel this cancel minus 14 by 25 isn't it and uh, minus 1 by minus 15 by 25 right now this will be again cancel and that will be 14 by 25 14 by 25 and minus 9 that is 5 by 25 but sign will change so minus 5 by 25 right okay now we can have a third row and first column so in that case this cancel and this cancel so it will be minus 9 by 25 plus 4 by 25 so that will be 5 by minus 5 by 25 now this one will cancel again and uh, it will be 14 by 25 minus 9 by 25 so 5 by 25 but sign will change so minus 5 by 25 again uh, this one cancel and this one cancel so 14 4 is 56 56 by 25 minus 81 by 25 so minus 25 by 25 minus 25 by 25 in that case if i would take common 5 can cancel them so what will happen if i uh, 5 can cancel them then that will be minus 1 by 
five can cancel and one five can be taken common. So if I took one five common in matrix, then every element will be divided by five, isn't it? And uh, what I need here minus five. So I can take minus one by five common from them. Then what will happen? Then in that case, it will be. Let me write. Then this will be uh, five divided. This will be one. That will be two, and that will be one again. This will be um, two and three and one. That will be minus one, right? And uh, that will be one, and that will be five. So minus one one five, and this is what we have uh, done earlier. One two one two three one, and minus one 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 five. One one five was there. Uh, is it one one five? So if I divide by minus, it will be plus. So here it will should be co coming minus as well. Let me check out. Yes, this was also negative now because this is the cofactor of this. So that will be cancelled and that will be minus 9 by 5 plus 4 by 5 is minus 5 by 5. So that will come minus 5 by 5 and therefore it is also positive. I hope you got it. Thank you. This is what adjoint of A inverse which is proved. So I hope you got it. Okay. Now uh, next part of this question was. A inverse O inverse is 1. So A inverse has been calculated. If you want to find A inverse again, A inverse second part was A inverse whole inverse was can be written. Therefore, determinant of A inverse that you have to calculate. So what will be the determinant of A inverse? Let me write here only because it will be easier to write here. And now therefore determinant of A is equal to minus 14 by 5 into this cancel this cancel this is a minus 4 by 5 25 and minus 1 by 25 minus 5 by 25 that is uh, 1 by 5 isn't it and then minus 9 by 5 into this cancel this cancel then what will happen 9 by 25 and plus 1 10 by 25 that is 2 by 5 and plus 1 by 5 into this cancel this cancel what will happen this cancel and this cancel then that minus 9 by 25 and plus that is minus 5 by 25 that is minus 1 by 5 so that will be minus 14 by 25 and that is minus 9 to 18 by 25 and that will be minus 1 19 by 25 so minus 19 by 25, 18 and minus 1, minus 19 and minus 14, minus 4, minus 5. So that will be minus. So this will be um, basically 14 minus 19 by 25. That is minus 5 by 25, minus 5 by 25. That is what? Minus 1 by 5. So A inverse uh, determinant of A inverse is also equal to minus 1 by 5, same thing, right? Now we have to find that joint of A inverse. So if you will find that joint of A inverse, then what will happen? Let me write. So determinant of A inverse is also minus 1 by 5. I hope you got it. Now adjoint of A inverse is equal to, what you will write? So adjoint of A inverse that can be written as we have written there um, adjoint of A inverse is um, that will be 14 minus 1 by 5 minus 2 by 5 right now minus 1 by 5 minus 2 by 5 and minus 1 by 5. The first row will be minus 1 by 5 minus 2 by 5 and minus 1 by 5. Okay. Let us write this. It has been already calculated here, so I have written copied from here directly. A joint of A inverse is being written here from there. I have copied it and simplified form. Now we have to find uh, from first, from first, what will happen? One upon A inverse determinant from first. 
and it will be a inverse o inverse is equal to this is what I have been written in first. So, 1 upon determinant of a inverse is minus 5 because the reciprocal of that is minus 5 and if you multiply by minus 5 to this value definitely that will come here uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 5 and that will be a. So, clearly this is proof. So, a inverse a is equal to a. This is what the proof of this question. So, question was a bit lengthy, but uh, still you can prove it. You can use it property also, but because here matrix A is already given. So, that is why we have to uh, go th with this matrix only. Now, here is question number 9. Uh, that is evaluate. Evaluate. And what was that? Evaluate x, y, x, y, x plus y, y, x plus y and x plus y then x and then x and then y this is what given and you have to evaluate so we can proceed it like uh, c2 tends to c2 minus c1 c3 tends to c3 minus c1 plus c2 c1 plus c2 if we proceed like this this is the solution i am writing here so what will come it will be x y x plus y y x plus y x now if i subtract this plus 2 then this will be 0 and uh, if i add these two and subtract from this then there will be minus 2y and there will be minus 2x y y cancel that will be minus 2x i hope you got it now if i'll uh, take minus 2 common then what will happen? 2 common if I'll take then x, y, x plus y, that is y, x plus y and x. This one is x and that is 0 minus y minus x. That will come here. So, we can write it. Now, if I'll go c1 tends to c1 plus c3, then this will be x, that will be 0 and here it will be only y and c2 tends to c2 plus c3 then also there will be y y cancel and x x cancel that will be also so here you should write the next step by keeping in mind of this of what will come we can write uh, c1 tends to c1 tends to c1 plus c3 and c2 tends to c2 plus c3 so the what will come in that case it will come like uh, here I'm writing just 2 that will be x and this will be 0 and that will be y here it will be y and that will be x and this will be 0 and that will be 0 minus y minus x now we can expand them so on expanding on expanding we have we have 2 into what will come first row first column so this and this cancel so it will be minus x square minus 0 so minus x square will come right now the second one is 0 so no need to write the third one is y y times this cancel this cancel minus y square minus 0 minus y square isn't it and the first one was no, coefficient x so what will happen 2 times of minus x q minus y q. If I take minus 2 common, then that will be minus 2 times of x q plus y q, and that will be the answer of this question. So, hopefully, you got it. Now, the next question 2 times of x q plus y q, that is the answer. Now, the next question is question number 10, and that is a question that evaluate again this is evaluate question from determinant we can do it first 1 1 1 that is x x plus y and x y y and x plus y uh, this question is simple one because you know how to bring zero so we can use them and r2 tends to r2 minus r1 and r3 tends to r3 minus r1 you can go ahead like this so what will happen in that case it will be 1 x y 
zero zero x subtracted then y and this will be zero if y is subtracted then this will be zero and y subtracted then this will be x now expanding along this first column so this cancel this cancel what is that x y x y minus zero so that will be answer so value is x y simple so i hope uh, in this lecture there are number of questions lengthy questions were there and that is why uh, we are unable to uh, solve many questions in this topic but still uh, we are able to um, give the concept that what is the important concept is that at joint of at joint of a is equal to determinant of a to the power a minus 2 into a and at joint of a determinant of at joint of a is determinant of a to the power n minus 1. So these are the two very important and basic concepts that uh, you need to learn from this lecture and uh, now I am getting tired so I will take a break and thereafter we will discuss the next part of the questions. So till then, take care of yours. God bless. Bye.